Evening. Thank you for joining us. We have new details tonight in a police shooting that killed a Centerville man. For the first time, we're seeing body and dash cam video of the moments leading up to Kevin Arbogast's death. KCCI Chief Investigative Reporter James Stratton received the video, and James, you have a warning for our viewers. We definitely do, Stephen Stacy. After a routine records request, a legal challenge, and an agreement to blur Kevin Arbogast's 15-year-old son's face, we received video from Centerville Police and the Appanoose County Sheriff's Office. The family, according to police, requested the video be released to the public. That warning for you tonight, that video graphic and tough to watch. Police officers arrive at Kevin Arbogast's rural Centerville home on November 21st. Hello, officer. Hi. They came here after his wife alleged he had been drinking and hit her at her home in town. Officers say they wanted to talk with him. The two live separately. We're looking for Kevin. Arbogast's son answers the door, wearing a bulletproof vest. Why are you wearing a bulletproof vest? He came in here and told me to get it on. Hey, why? He said something's going down. 30 seconds later, Dad, Dad, put it down. the video shows Arbogast appear behind officers with an AR-15 wearing a bulletproof vest of his own. Put it down. You can see him briefly in front of a pickup truck. The Iowa Attorney General's report says he pointed the gun at officers here before retreating behind a squad car to then point it again at them. Advise all units, he is next to our patrol car in his driveway. Officers scream at him repeatedly. Put the gun down! Saying that phrase roughly 50 times in more than three minutes. Put the gun down! Centerville Police Chief Tom Demery said it's something officers were recently trained to do. That three minutes of time, you know, we've added more de-escalation training into our normal yearly training, and so that was part of that, of, of trying to de-escalate those situations. Arbogast shouts this back at officers. While also telling his son to shut up after he yells at his dad to drop the gun. Shut up! Eventually, the de-escalation doesn't work. And more than three minutes after yelling to drop the gun and a final warning. Kevin! This is your final warning! Put the gun down! Shots are fired. Though it's unclear who shoots first, the investigation says Arbogast was propped near the squad car with his AR-15 pointed at officers. No! and pulled the trigger at least once. After the shootout, the investigation says he was shot in the head and lower right part of his torso. Officers put Arbogast in handcuffs. Get him in cuffs. Turn him around. Put him down. Get him. I got him. That is procedure um, in an incident such as this is to secure the person. Um, yeah, it's just standard procedure. The two Centerville officers, Jacob Downs, a five-year veteran of the department, Graf Holmes on the job for just 28 days, and an Appanoose County deputy, Gary Buckaloo Jr., a 21-year police veteran, were all found legally justified by the Iowa Attorney General's office, which said officers had no reasonable choice but to shoot Arbogast because of his actions. Kevin, we can talk about this! The report says officers made every attempt to de-escalate the situation, even after he pointed his rifle at them repeatedly and fired at least one round. This was a tragic situation all the way around for everybody involved, and uh, uh, especially coming from a small town, this is not something that you would ever um, expect or definitely want to happen um, on anybody that was involved. Now, after we filed a public records request for the video, we received partial denial, and the city and county filed a request for an injunction against the release of that video. The city and county wanted a judge to seal it for good, saying it could cause harm to Arbogast's son. After KCCI opposed that petition with our own court filing, county officials say they heard from the Arbogast family, and the family wanted that video released. We agreed to blur the teen's face. We also reached out to the family and Arbogast's best friend. Neither wanted to comment.